to my channel I'm so excited to have you back again as always thank you for choosing to watch this video today I have the beautiful Ruby Sue's here with me she's a fellow youtuber a fellow mompreneur we're trying to do big things guys so yes please support so today uh, on my channel with Ruby we decided to go try out a sexy date night look that is not like overdone something that would be easy for her to recreate on her own at home subtle highlight to the face because she don't like to nah i don't want to pop you no she doesn't <laughs> pop you. so we've we've gone for this look it's something that i hope that it will be easy for not just her but anybody else watching to recreate as well um also on ruby's channel we did the 10 minute yummy mommy get ready in the morning sort of challenge so i will leave all <laughs> that was interesting that was really interesting guys i'll leave all the information in the description box below please don't hesitate to check out ruby's channel because she's got some amazing content on her channel as well and our collab was it was crazy so <laughs> you, need, you need to check it out yeah so um as always guys thank you so much for watching uh, i do appreciate you we're gonna get straight into the video now as always be good stay safe take care of yourselves and i shall catch you real soon thanks for watching bye i just don't like the overall too much glow it's like time to do frame pop pop for a very long okay, time <laughs> I don't usually wear makeup during when I've got the, the kids. Yeah. yeah, I just do when I go to work. In fact, I gave up going to work, putting makeup on when I go to work. But I realised actually it's quite nice to, you know, look up. Make, make a bit of yeah, makeup. Yeah, it is nice. Not just because usually Sundays is the day. When church, I go to church, yeah. I go in. That's the case for most Africans. It's like it's Sunday is the day to uh, put on your just best, calm. your best outfit. Yeah, look, then I'm like, mm, what, what, look I, a what dollars. eyeshadow look am I going for today? <laughs> <laughs> because and it's fine. It's nice to get dressed exactly. up. You feel good, don't you? You do absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. As a mother, I don't see how it's just part of the thing. I think it helps with your sanity. Otherwise, you just forever be in leggings and, and I know baggy t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> your, your husband's t-shirt. Yeah, usually, <laughs> usually. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I honestly hope that you guys really enjoyed this video because I had so much fun, so much banter. I recorded with Ruby Sue's. It was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful collab. Um, so as always, guys, as you can see, I've started prepping her skin. I'm applying the primer to her face and now I'm going in with the concealer on her eyes. I'm going to set it with the translucent powder as I always do and just prep it for shadow. So the first color that we went for on the eyelid is cork and I'm just applying that with an elf eyeshadow brush and, apply it, and I'm applying that all the way up to her brow bone area to serve as my base color. So once I've got that color down, now I'm going in with Coco Bear on a 2 to floor blending brush from MAC and applying that in her crease as my transition color. So once I've worked that color really well into her crease, I'm going to pick up Bitten from Makeup Geek as well. And I'm going to work that all over Coco Bear with the same brush. And then this time with Bitten, I'm working that along the outer third of her lower lash line. And just feathering that color into the middle of the eyes as well. So once I've worked that in, I'm going to switch brushes now and just pick up a clean blending brush. And just really thoroughly blend and blow those colors out on the eyelid. So once I've done that, I'm going to pick up Brownie from my Makeup Addiction uh, Flaming Love Palette and I'm going to work that along her lash line as a, like a smoky liner. She didn't want a wing liner or anything dramatic like that. That is not Ruby style. So I just went in with the shadow and just really smoked that out along her lash line. Now I'm applying some mascara to her lashes to prep them for the falsies. And for falsies as well, she wanted something quite natural. So we went for a really natural pair of lashes that I picked up from the um, hair shop downstairs. <laughs> so then uh, onto the skin, a little bit of light color correcting. Ruby's skin is beautiful. Um, she just highlighted a few uh, areas on the face where she, you know, she has problems with. And we're just going in there, color correcting and prepping for foundation. Uh, so for foundation today, I used her own foundation, which is from Kiko. I actually really liked it. I've never used it before, but it was a really nice foundation. So I'm just, you know, buffing that onto her face with my real technique sponge as i always do again you don't want to forget the neck so you remember to work your foundation down your neck as well you want it all to match so once that's done we're going to go in now with the concealer 
So uh, for concealer, I'm using the MYX HD concealer and I'm mixing it with the LA Girl in the shade Fawn. Um, again, Ruby didn't want you know you know the extra bright highlight in the center of the face or anything like that. She wanted to look really natural. You know, she didn't want a dramatic makeover. She wanted her husband to still recognize her when she walked in the door. So which is what we've done here. So now I'm blending out with my uh, Real Techniques sponge again, just really blending and buffing that uh, concealer into the skin. So. Um, yeah, once I'm done blending out with the little sponge there, I'm going to switch back to the big sponge that I blended out the foundation with and just feather off the edges of the highlight into the foundation so that, you know, it looks really seamless. So once I have that all done, I'm going to go in now and do a little bit of a really light cream contouring. As you can see, you know, I didn't, you know, drench the face in the cream contour just really lightly. And I'm going to buff that out now with my uh, brush there. So once I've done blended out with the brush, I'm going to go back in and pick up the sponge that I blended out the foundation with uh, again. And what I'm going to do with that sponge is I'm going to just use it to feather off the um, contour and just really blend that into her skin again because we want a really seamless, really natural look to, you know, Ruby's makeup. So now I'm going in with Laura Mercier and I'm using that to set her under eye highlight and for the rest of her highlight zones I'm going to go in with the Sasha Buttercup powder and just work that down the T-zone and use it to define her contour just a tad bit, nothing too excessive. So once I have that all down and done, I'm going to go back into the Flaming Love palette from Makeup Addiction and I'm going to pick up a smudge brush this time and I'm going to use that to smoke out her lower lash line. I didn't line her waterline because she said our eyes water so we left that out so now I'm just gonna go in with my brush and dust off the setting powder because they've done you know their part of the job so once I dust all of that completely off her face I'm gonna go into my Ben 9 Mojave uh, powder palette and I'll leave the exact names of the shade I used for her to set the rest of her face check me out Ooh. I am smoking we ain't even done yet though. oh man Hey, Bobby, you better watch out. <laughs> you better watch out. You best watch out. I'm going to step into this East London. And people are going to check me. They are going to check you. I should have waited till Saturday. Why didn't I come on Saturday? <laughs> Baby, you know it's okay. You're pretty fine. So when I'm done setting her face with my Ben Nye powders, I'm going to go in with the face uh, contour kit from Sleek in the shade Dark and just use that to lightly define her facial features. And once I've done with the contour powder, I'm going to go in with my bronzer from CoverGirl in the shade Ebony Bronze and I'm just going to use that to bring some warmth back to her complexion. As always, I buff that along the edges of the contour and the highlight. It serves as a transition between two shades, between those two shades uh, for a natural finish. So once I've done bronzing up her face, I'm going to go in with the highlight and really subtly just highlight her cheekbones. Um, again, she didn't want no bright highlights, so really gently, I'm going to do that. And once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my blushes and I'm just going to kiss her cheeks with a flush of colour, you know, just to make her look a bit more, mm, you know, a little more va va -voo. <laughs> so then once I have done all of that, I'm going to go into my Sleek Contour Kit in the shade Medium, ever so slightly contour her nose, bring some definition to the nose. And then once I have done that, I'm going to pick up my highlighter and uh, dab a bit in the corners of her eyes just to open the eyes up a little bit more. And then I'm going to go to her lower lash line with some mascara just to add some definition to the lower uh, lashes and just, you know, add some mascara to them and then uh, onto her lips I used her NYX lip cream again I'll leave the name in the description box uh, for those who might be interested so once I have you know finished with the lipstick I'll just go in some finishing touches with the highlight bridge of the nose tip of the nose and of course as always spray the face to keep the makeup on all night baby you need to keep that be on fleek throughout your day so that was it guys I hope that you enjoyed thank you so much for watching I'll see you real soon bye for a bad man, when she drop in the low for a bad man, they be carry the go for a bad man. See the way she the roll for a bad man, she be taking the slow for a bad man. When she drop in the low for a bad man, they be carry the go for a bad man. See the way she the roll for a bad man, she be taking the slow for a bad man. When she drop in the low for a bad man. <laughs> She's feeling herself. Oh man, baby. She is feeling herself.